Hey guys, I have a special video for you today. What I got a hold of recently was the Bell Stereo 30, or basically the Gibson GA79 amp. And I'm happy about this because, as you can see here, there are two potentiometers here. Both of them are two meg. First off, which is very uncommon for amplifiers. And not only that, but these are reverse audio with a center tap. So there's not much information on these available. I did find a few posts from various forums, but not too many. There are around one or two posts, I believe. So there's not much documentation on these, but they're Centralab from both 1959. And they're also used in the GA400 5879 version. So actually I was working on my GA400 and broke one. So I was kind of motivated to find another one and uh, could not. So I was lucky enough to find this amp in Tokyo. So the thing about it is, as you can see, it does not have the Jensen P10Q speakers. So I basically got the unit just exactly as you can see it. I've already taken apart the bottom chassis here and one of the capacitors. So it also came with the tremolo foot switch. And yeah, other than that, I've removed the what's considered the death cap off the polarity switch already. So I'm happy to show the inside of this chassis here, the bottom chassis. It doesn't seem like there are any pictures available online. And if there are, feel free to post, comment. So, let's see, I'm assuming that this amp is from 1960, and I'm assuming that based off of one of the potentiometers here from Central Lab having 1960. And also it appears that some of the transformers on the, maybe difficult to see, but they're in the back have 1960. So I'll show you guys what it looks like here before I begin to work on it. So I've already checked some of the values with an ESR reader, for example, for this Mallory uh, CAN capacitor. So that needs to be replaced. And also, this amp uses, I believe it is, four 6EU7 tubes. And when I received it, it only has one. So I'm finding it a bit difficult to find 6EU7s in Japan. So the other alternative is to simply rewire to allow for 12AX7s to be put in. So other than that, I'll just kind of show you guys what it looks like here. And this 7.9 version does not have the reverb tank. This one does have the tremolo. And it does have the handle here with the patent number, as you can see there. And I'll quickly show the front. So here we have the Bell Stereo, Bell 30 Stereo logo. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll be posting videos once I get this up and running, so yeah, take care.